but we have been meeting in good faith, and we have been trying to solve the problems. And you've seen the result of some of that in what we have now. Okay. So I mean, for example, our planners <coughs> met, just yes, the planners, right. Monday morning, sat down with the CAD and worked on some things, and you know, and, and asked the type of thing about the lawyers involved, that there's been some give and take and there's some discussions. And that's, uh, what, I'm saying, and that's uh, what I'm saying. We are seeing some progress but, here. Madam okay. Chairman, can I, just a moment. Now, with these meetings, they open to the rest of the people on Serenity Hills, or is it only for the paying members? I mean, if you have, I mean, because it's about the community and the it's around. You know, I mean, so I mean, do you have open meetings for everybody to, to to be able to give input? There's been communications between different homeowners associations about the meetings. People mm -hmm. have been invited to the meetings, and then they're generally held, I think, on Sunday afternoons. So, 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 so my question is, how many? In. I mean, are you having like ten people show up, twenty people, a hundred, like here? I mean, do you have this kind of a showing? Can I address this? Maybe have Mr. Kerr address because he's he's this? been the organizer be be behind the, it. Our group was State formed. Name, yeah. My name Tom Kerr, Central Park Boulevard, 20 year plus resident. Um, we formed this group after the initial meeting that took place that the developer put on, and we asked people at the meeting to sign if they were interested. Uh, in either being in opposition to this or in favor of whatever. We had, at that point and shortly thereafter, I think we collected over 500 signatures of people that were against the project. Every one of those people were asked if they would like to be part of this group to sit with us. We've never been in opposition to anybody that believes in what we're doing to sit in on our meetings and we continually ask and our group has grown but some people come once in a while some people come a lot there are others that ha that are new to our group and continue to come so it's not it's not an exclusive group anybody that would like to be part of our group is more than welcome and I think my friends that are on the group can attest to that as well would you not yeah and here Melody has uh, a, a long list of, of people that... Okay, well, we have Sorry. to have you come for the record. I apologize. Okay. Thank you. Does that give a, a reasonable explanation? Yes. Have I answered the question? Yeah. Mr. I mean, Green, just, are you satisfied with that answer? Yeah, I, again, I'm just saying, I've just, got somebody representing a handful of people, but not necessarily everybody. Not the majority? Or? The question is, how can we negotiate, and we want to make sure that the people we're negotiating with are... But how? But again, I don't know what authority they have to make any agreement. That's what I'm saying. Well, basically, it's an agreement. Anytime, I mean, I, I represent homeowners associations or groups like this all the time. Reach an agreement that would keep my folks that are part of this committee from coming forward and complaining or objecting to the project. Okay. We wouldn't keep any. I'm not. Try, we wouldn't be denying anybody else their rights as citizens to come in and, and make comments. But I think the organized opposition would would have been dealt with satisfied and would not be showing up in any future public hearings okay well, well that's what i'm saying though is that is it, is it your you guys are saying you're close to uh, having a resolution but who set the resolution was, was, i'm so. saying that we are <laughs> making progress right okay but we are well, making progress well, what do you and, and part of my desire as you know i mean you can see this you can see the way this has progressed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're continually listing and trying to incorporate those things to make this a better project mm -hmm. that's really important to us Frank is a resident here. I mean, that's, that's what sort of irritated me about the Miami comment. So uh, it's really important to me that we, we, we work together. I like working together. I like working with Denny and his, and his group. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. As long as we can come up with something that's, that's financially feasible, that makes a better project for Port Orange, that deals with the traffic issue, that deals with the value issue, that's what we're after. Mm -hmm. Is it safe that. to say that you're all in harmony? Well. Yeah. I mean, everyone in here. Wait, I mean, that's what I mean. Anytime I'm trying to get a unified no, no, no. group. Councilors, let me let, let me ask this question of both of you. Your negotiations are they going to result in anything substantial and change to this plan that will bring it back to this body again? Just like Ms. Roberts, our city attorney, suggested that this one come back to us again this time. And, and what, what what I think this board is trying to say. Yes, we no, don't, don't want to don't sit through this again. Don't speak for me. Right. I said what I think is we don't want to sit through this again, and we don't want you to have to come do it again. What do you think? Well, I agree. I don't want it. You know, powerful. nothing personal, but you know, I, I would prefer that if if we can reach an agreement again, there's a reduction in density. You know, and it's going to be reconfiguring some of the lots and, and things of this sort. 
Um, I don't know why it needs to come back to you. I don't know if you're. It, so I, my vision would be we would have an agreement saying, okay, you know, Mr. Storch, we approve of this site plan, this development agreement, MDA. This is all good with us. Go forward, and, and you know, you can represent that we that we've agreed to. Madam Chair, yes, I have a question. Yes, sir. Since we have these meetings monthly, is it possible? And I'd like to talk with our city attorney. Uh, to confirm, are we able to put this on some type of a hold without a vote and hopefully within a 30-day period we have a room full of happy people with a big smile that are within agreement and when they present the new changes we can vote on that at one time without doing anything now prematurely. Well, if, yeah, if, so I, could, if I could make a suggestion, and because and I'm, I'm hearing this. You know, obviously, we have a couple things that we're going to be finishing working on, all right? And if, if we are able to do that, we can come back to you. It won't be that much to look at mm -hmm. at that point. If that's the case, uh, I would suggest that we request a continuance at this time. That, that, that's what I mean. If I don't want to vote for something, whether it's a reduction or a loss or not, we were, not knowing what we're approving. That, or is that all right? Not Very good. Okay. Oh, well, you need to make well, a motion hold quickly. Up. The applicant has requested a continuance. So, with that being said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. here comes a boss. Uh -oh. oh boy, here comes a boss. So, so much for that idea. Processing, getting this. If it does have to get looked at and go back for planning commission, if there are substantial changes to the plan, the staff's going to have to do a review on this. Plus, in order to get it prepared to the planning commission. So, in order to get it on the let's say February planning commission, I think it's the 25th of February. We would need something back into our staff probably a little over a week okay. so we can do the review and get it prepared to go on to agenda. So what you've told me is that, Denny, we have a week to try and work this out. Based on what you guys talked about. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you're, or you're pushing yeah. on that. <laughs> <laughs> would be Madam Chairman. Large. Yes, sir. I just want to point out, this is with a, a particular group of citizens. It doesn't cover everybody. Absolutely. All right, that, it's not everybody. It has to be unified. That's going to be happy, happy. Well, happy. that's again, everyone in here is in Just some type of. And I, and I appreciate that. It's not our fault. Uh, no, I would suggest I, you I mean, all I make, I make write a, each other's name and numbers and well, contacts well, now. I'll make a motion to continue. I second that. May I have a roll call, please, Madam Clerk? Can we have a discussion? No. John Johnson. No. Yes. Uh, Newton White. Yes. Mike Arminio. Yes. Tom Jordan. No. Frank Brooks. No. Sonia Laney. Yes. You got the tie? Three. Okay. All right. You didn't pick That's it then. And again, thank you so much for your time tonight. And we're going to give you the work better. Well, they got some short periods. It's, it's frustrating. No. It is frustrating. Yeah, and, and that's really the only time you're going to do it. My dog ate my couch. I left my dog out of the crate. I think Lance's point and stuff like that. If you have money, yeah. we're not representing everybody. Yeah. So what the hell will contain them? Hey, hey, you know what? We still, we, guys, we, we, still have, we, we still have a meeting going on. Excuse me. Same right. Sonia. 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 And it's a lot size. Take it off. Take We have a meeting We have to finish up our meeting. If we could have everybody quietly... Shuffle on out. We still get to stay here. And yeah, we're not done yet, guys. Thank you so much. We've got another hour. Good night. Okay. Let's give them a we're minute. We're going to make the rest real quick. If we could get everybody to quietly fall out. We're ready. Mr. Berman? Well, and Mr. Clark, how are you, sir? Are you on the back? Are you on the payroll yet? We are on our next commissioners. <laughs> commissioners, we're on our next item: development activity report. Mr. Berman. Yes. I see there's, I see there's a lot of activity. 